Hello, Suva community. We're meeting again. We met a few days ago on Tisha B'Av, and we were talking about our calendar, making space for grief, which is part of life, which is a real part of life, which sometimes is a part of life that we're trying to resent and push away, and to make space for that. In our year, in our time, in our experience. And among the things that we were talking about, we mentioned that story that we have in the Talmud about this, the, the beginning of Tisha B'Av, when the first decree in the desert was given to the people of Israel that they will not go into the land, that they will die in the desert, and that every year they would go dig a grave, go in it. And we were talking about how how terrible it is. It's necessary sometimes to let yourself just rest in it, that something really broke, that something is really terrible, that you're just going and kind of like submitting to reality. Not because you think nothing will ever change, but because it needs, it needs to go through the wave. And you're going there and you're willing to accept, not resent, with whatever comes with it and to almost not move to kind of like almost freeze and just lie down there and be in there and we were talking about how the 38th year they were like going into the graves and then everybody came up in the morning no one died and they were like maybe we're wrong with the get with the date until four days later they saw the full moon and they were like okay well, we're not wrong the decree is over something has shifted because the truth, the basic truth of life, not in a manip manipulative way, not that anyone promises anything, but the basic truth is that when something breaks, something else does grow. We don't exactly know what grows, but something does grow. The shift of brokenness moves something in the world somewhere else. And the moon, the full moon does appear at some point. And when that full moon appeared the first time they made, um, sure to put that on the calendar as well and the mishnah tells us there are two best days of the year the 15th of av two be'av and yom kippur and these the, the 15th of av was made because that was the day they, they realized the decree is over life is coming back what the women used to do tells us the mishnah right after that is that they used to go out and dance in white and i'm thinking this year about Moving from that frozen body, almost frozen, in the grave, allowing yourself to be there, going down into a grave that you're digging, allowing yourself to be in the brokenness fully, and the moon that suddenly comes, and the shift that you suddenly feel inside that something is moving, and the difference between that and the contract, contrast between that and dra dancing. And I think for us in modern world, it's even a bigger contrast because we're so not used to just dancing without a prompt without a formal kind of like okay this is how you dance just like dance it's like it could be very embarrassing but like apparently we had a tradition women did that on Tu Be'av and on Yom Kippur they would go out and dance and I invite us to just start thinking about that we're going to talk about it in Sviva very soon in Elul in these coming high holidays, what does it mean to move from this frozenness of grief, this very low, low energy, the acceptance of life into the place of dance without forcing yourself, but with sensing that something is moving, with the movement that happens in the world? How can we dance again? That is the question that we want to hold in our hearts and in our community this year as we're entering to Be'av to allow yourselves to allow ourselves to start moving, to start feeling life in us, to start expressing ourselves, to start being with, with life and with the brokenness, but also with the movement and with all that is also here and with moving through it and with transformation. And Tu Be'av is this Monday. This Monday is Tu Be'av, the 15th of Av, one of the two most joyous days of the year. Joy not in a way that you're forcing yourself again, but in a way that you're able to start tapping into that eternal energy inside you and holding you, what we call maybe God, life.
the vibe of life. So happy Tu Be'av, the day of love, the day of connection, the day of dance, that already sow the seeds for Yom Kippur is a day of connection, a day of love, a day of dance, and looking forward to seeing you all soon.